The moment of going into the hospital, uh, knowing that we were leaving with a baby, we were so excited. It was in the middle of the night and you know, we knew that we had a long day ahead of us and it was just so much excitement. It was the first grandbaby on my side and um, it's just very exciting. The moment they had put Augie in my arms for the first time was amazing. I think back to it and it it's like a dream. People tell you, you know, you can't, you'll never understand until you have a child of your own and it's true. Sunday morning we, um, we got the news that we were leaving the hospital and um, about 10 minutes later, the nurse came in and let us know that uh, we were actually not being released. Um, they had heard um, a murmur um, in our baby boy Augie's heart. On my side, there, there was no, no um, previous heart conditions, and I don't think there was any on your side either. I think it was just, you know, Mother Nature fluke deal. You know, sometimes you can't explain why, why things happen. Once they explained um, that he had the ASDs and VSDs. Um, and then once they left the room, I think that's when it really hit you that, that I mean, this is serious. As a new mom, um, hearing news like that from a, your, your newborn baby is like nails on a chalkboard. It was devastating. You know, you dream of this day and you have a plan and um, things are not falling in the way that they, in the way that they should and it was just devastating and it's hard to um, it's hard to say you know how how you felt and how anybody would feel in that situation until it's your own they said that they were going to uh, open up his chest and um, basically try to uh, patch or plug the holes in the heart However, it could take more than one surgery. So uh, going into surgery was kind of hard because we didn't know what the result was gonna be after surgery. When you finally figure out you know, what actually is going on and what they're actually doing, it's so overwhelming to realize you know, they're actually opening up your child and um, fixing the heart and it's just, it's something you just can't even understand. It was such a relief to know that they were at least going to uh, make an attempt to close the bottom hole in the hearts that could potentially close this chapter. I was so overwhelmed with joy. I can't even explain to you the relief that knowing that we might not have to be in surgery again and know that um, you know that might be the last thing that's needed for Augie to um, maintain a healthy healthy life. Without this patch um, that Augie uh, received it could have been a whole different outcome. He could have um, had to have multiple surgeries and, and no telling what could have happened during those multiple surgeries. I guess you always fear the worst um, in, in, the, in a situation like this and so it's just nice knowing that um, that there there is this all this technology out there, and there is um, um, these patches and things to help save uh, babies with these issues. Being so young, me and my husband were um, never had a care in the world. You know, we were going to have a baby, and the baby was going to be healthy, and that was just the way it was going to be. And um, given this curveball, you know, I mean it. It puts everything in perspective, and um, without those donations um, for the research and uh, development, um, Augie might not be um, able to live as long of a life. To everybody at American Heart Association and all the kind donors, thank you so much for uh, donating funds t towards this research uh, for um, development and uh, new technologies. Um, so people can um, live happier, healthier lives. Uh, we're very, very grateful.